everyone welcome to easy explanation so in last video we covered transaction states and in today's video i'll be covering a new topic which is concurrent execution in dbms okay which is also called concurrency so what is a concurrent execution what is concurrency let us understand that so what happens in in a multiple in a multi user system multi user means for example in every application you need to make a database for example if you consider a movie ticket booking system ticket booking system so what happens is all there is a single database for this ticket booking system and a number of user can simultaneously or concurrently try to take the or try to visit this site or try to change the database for example what is the change of database suppose if this seat is available for a particular movie so this user plus this user plus this user all these three users can simultaneously try to access this seat or these resources so what will happen to the state of database here okay similar example can be ticket booking system for example if you are traveling by a train you will try to book a ticket for your seat and not only you a number of other user can also try to book the same seat at the same time so this is called a multi user system so what happen in a multi user system multiple user can access and manipulate same database simultaneously okay it means that a single database can be accessed by a number of user at the same time simultaneously and this is known as concurrent execution of dbms okay so this is a very practical thing in dbms or in any kind of application that a single dbms is tried to execute try to be uh, taken by multiple users so what happened in here we have to share the resources it means that a single resource is been shared by multiple user so let me give you a definition so what is concurrent concurrent execution so concurrent execution in dbms refers to multiple database transaction being processed simultaneously okay at the same time so why this is done why this concurrency is important in order to improve the improve the performance okay so imagine the scenario if you want to book a movie ticket and this was a rule if a single user is going to trying to book a ticket all the other users should wait there so imagine the system like that so it would have taken infinity for us to book all the ticket due to concurrency due to simultaneously working of the dbms we are able to book the ticket at the same time okay so how is this going to work for example if i am a user a and if uh, some other user b is there if this is the seat that we are trying to take so what will happen will both the user will get the same seat what happen if a get this seat what will happen to b okay so this is the kind of questions or this is the kind of query that comes in our mind so before going to our all other topics there are certain problems that occur with concurrent execution okay so what are the problem let us discuss this is one of the most important very 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 important question for your exam and the question is and the topic is problem with concurrent execution so as i told you what is concurrent execution now what is the problem if more than one person will try to access the same resource at the same time what are the in, what are the problems that we are going to face so in this type of thing we are going to face all, around four problems and before going to this four problem let us see that what is read operation and what is a write operation okay so if there is any transaction if there is any transaction and if you perform read operation read means you just view that particular transaction 
so for read operation we don't have any kind of problem we don't have any problem in this because read operation is not going to change the state of your transaction but if you are going to perform write operation it means that you are going to update it you are going to change it so this write operation is very dangerous thing we can say in terms of problem because this is going to change the state of your database so this is a big challenge for us okay so regarding this let us see what are the various problems in the uh, with the concurrence execution and the first problem is lost update okay lost update so this is see the name only says what is lost update it means that something has been updated and it has been lost okay so for, first of all i'll write with a, a theory part a definition part and then we'll go to the example so when does this when does this lost update occur it's, it occurs when two transaction read the same data see i'll underline this they are trying to read the same data and update it okay two transaction it means that two different person is trying to access the same data and also they are trying to update it so what is update update means write it write over it but what happened is what is the problem but only or we can say but one update is overwritten by the other leading to lost data change okay so you can see this in practical what is this lost data change what is this if there is a particular data and there are two transaction they are trying to update this data read this data and update this data and both of them are trying to change this data at the same time so is that possible this data is changed for both no only one of this transaction will get the updated data according to their updation yes so let us see the example here so for example i'll give a uh, banking example here for example uh, your balance is suppose your initial balance is suppose x is the balance account name so your balance is 100 okay 100 rupees or 100 dollar we can say and there comes two transactions so in first transaction first of all it will read this x so what i told you while reading the X will not have any problem, no change, no problem is there. But after reading, it is trying to update this X. So what it did is it added RS50. So the final amount is 150 in transaction. At the same time, this transaction 2 is also trying to read this X. So at the same time if it is read x so again the value is 100 because initially the value of x was 100 so here it read 100 it read x so the value was 100 at the same time transaction t2 also trying to read x so the value is 100 only here because till we commit it as i told you in previous videos in transaction state till we commit we are not going to get the updated value so you can see in this case we have not committed it so although we have updated it we have not committed so at the same time if somebody else is trying to read this data he or she is going to get the same previous data that is 100 and now in this t2 process it is going to update the value of x by 100 so it means that it's going to update the value 100 plus 100 that is 200 and now if t2 commits first so what happens is if t2 commits commits uh, before t1 so what happens is the updated value will be 200 not 150 it means that the update made by t1 has been lost so this is called lost update okay i hope you got this so let's go to the second one second problem which is dirty read dirty read okay so what happens is here first of all we try to read some data and later on the data has been changed so let's see what i'm trying to see so first of all what happens is here occurs when a transaction suppose we have one transaction t1 that is one transaction reads the data reads the data that has been 
written by other transaction suppose there are two transactions so transaction some transaction has written a data or updated data and that data has been read by another transaction it occurs when a transaction reads the data that has been written by other transaction that has not yet committed see suppose a transaction has just what happened it has just written the data but it has not committed so what happens is if the other transaction roll back it means that if something happened and instead of committing it rolls back it means that it comes to the previous state then the data read by first transaction becomes invalid okay so what happens again let us take two transaction t1 and t2 so there is again a value of x equals to 100 so t1 it read 100 after that it updated the value of 100 to 200 but it has not committed it so after it updated again now t2 is trying to read the value so t2 is trying to read the value and t2 will get the value of x as 200 okay because after updating t2 is trying to read the value so t2 will see it is a 200 but something happened and this transaction t1 it rolled back so what happens in rollback in rollback you are going to the initial state only so again after rollback the value of x become 100 okay it means that after some time if again t2 will try to read the value he will he or she will get the value as 100 not as 200 okay so here whatever t2 has read this value x equals to 200 this is called dirty read so when it happens it will happen if you do not commit if you read any value before its commit commission or commit okay so let's go to third problem so third problem is inconsistent inconsistent retrieval or we can say inconsistent retrievals this is also known as non repeatable read okay so when does it happen first of all let us write the scenario so it occurs when a transaction read the same data multiple time multiple time and get different result okay so this is so it is a very different type of problem because here if i am trying to read the same data x sometime i'll get the value as 100 sometime i'll get the value as 200 okay so why does this does this happen why it is going to get the different value because because other transactions are concurrently updating the data why does it happen it happens because the other transaction some other transaction is to, trying to concurrently update it is going to update the data or it is updating the data concurrently that's why we are seeing or we are getting the different value for example let, let us again take example there is a initial the x of value of x is 100 and there is a transaction t1 so in first state this t1 read the value and will get the value of x as 100 okay now there is a transaction t2 and it what it happens it it updates the value of x as updates the value of x as 200 means that it added 100 here and again it commit so you know that after commission this become permanent so now again t1 if it is trying to read the value of x now it will get the value 200 simultaneously okay just a few seconds ago it was getting the value 100 now after this it will getting the value 200 again if t2 update this value x value suppose it updated to 300 again if this t1 will read the value of x it is going to get 300 okay so this is called inconsistent 
रिट्रीवल और नॉन रिपीटेबल रीड ओके सो दिज आर द फ्यू प्रॉब्लम्स दैट ऑकर्स इन कंकरेंसी सो इन नेक्स्ट टॉपिक आई थिंक देर इज अ टॉपिक कॉल्ड सीरियल एजिबिलिटी ओके सो दैट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट सो आई ट्राई टू कवर इट वेरी सुन टू देन स्टे सेफ एंड थैंक यू